Hello everyone! Yes, it's another Tamagotchi video. I hope you've been enjoying these. So today I want to show you guys a set of Tamagotchis that I plan on running with my friends this week. I've never run this set of Tamagotchis before, so this will kind of also be like a first impression video. This set of Tamagotchi is one of a kind, so I thought I'd do a video on it since there's not a lot of information about them online, and I hope you enjoy it. So this is a set that I'll be running with my friends this week. I was gifted this set by a collector friend for Christmas, and these are the Tamago Chu Tamagotchis. And tamago means egg in Japanese and chu means kiss. Just from the name itself, you can kind of tell that this is a love and romance themed tamagotchi. The tamago chus were released back in 2007, so they are vintage items. Obviously, they're no longer in production. And the very special thing about this set of tamagotchis is that there are no other tamagotchi models that are designed this way. So this shell design and shell color is exclusive to the Tamagotchi model. This is one of the very, very few Tamagotchis that are sold as a set like this. There are five different shell colors for the Tamagotchis in total. There's the black and white shell, which has checkerboard patterns on the shell. And there's the king and queen set, which is black and pink. There's also the moon and flowers, which is the one I have here. And then there's the Ayanori set, which is very adorable because it comes in a box that is shaped like an elephant bus. It's a special edition set and the shell colors are white and pink and lastly there's the 17 black and pink set which is the rarest out of the five designs because it is a limited edition shell distributed by the 17 magazine in Japan I'm not exactly sure how many were produced back then but usually if it's a 17 magazine limited edition shell there wouldn't be more than 500 produced so the 17 magazine Tamagotchi sets can be sold for quite a bit these days I have seen them go for over a thousand dollars which I guess is understandable considering how they were produced in very limited quantities and that they're no longer being produced and for collectors that can be quite valuable anyway I really really like this moon and flower set on the screen here in kanji it says moon and on the pink one here it says flower I just thought this was one of the most beautiful Tamagotchi shells and another thing I love about this shell is that the screen is not a traditional rectangular shell it's been die cut to this specific shape. I just thought this was such an adorable extra touch to the shell design. So yeah, this is a very special set to me. On the back of the box here, it kind of just gives you a very simple guideline as to how the Tamagotchis work. All the Tamagotchis comes as a set of two, and that is because one represents the male character and the other represents the female character. For this set here, the blue one is the male and the pink one is the female. You need both genders for the gameplay to work. The objective of the game is is that you have to keep the two sides connected enough times for them to have kind of like a healthy relationship and also for them not to leave each other which is kind of sad but as long as you attend to them enough they'll have a beautiful life together and grow old together the gameplay of the Tamagotchus also require the least maintenance compared to other Tamagotchi models some Tamagotchi models can be very very needy especially the vintage ones like Tamagotchi Umino the ocean ones all the vintage models from my experience are extremely needy. You literally have to constantly tend to them and it can get quite stressful. Whereas the Tamagotchus, even though I haven't played it before, but I've heard from many, many other collectors, are one of the easiest models to play with. And I'm quite swamped with work this month, so this is kind of perfect for me to run on the side, just like a fun little thing for me to have a look at once in a while. I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox this now. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting the shell to be matte color. This is so pretty. It actually looks like a real egg. Oh my god, the buttons on the side here are heart shaped. Are you kidding me? This is so cute. Instead of being on the very top of the Tamagotchi, the infrared is placed on the side here so that when you connect them, 
by pushing the side button against each other like this, the infrared will allow the two Tamagotchis to connect. Wow, I'm just so amazed by the shell design. It's actually so tiny. I better play with them in a pouch. I'm just gonna go ahead and put batteries in now. Now that I've put batteries in, it's just asking me to set the date and time. It's May the 4th today and the time is 2.14. After you set the date and time, you'll be asked to pick your male character and your female character. This is another very unique thing about the Tamagotchus. You don't get to pick your characters usually. You kind of just wait for your Tamagotchi to evolve to different characters. But with the Tamagotchus, you get to choose your starting character. Here, I think I have young Mamechi. Oh, and then there's the little robot. And then this guy here, I'm not sure what his name is. Right, so it's just the three characters here that I need to choose from. And on the right here, my choices of female characters are Ichigochi, the strawberry little girl here. Ringochi, the apple girl. And oh my god, she's so cute. I just want to quickly look at the instruction booklet to see if there are anything about it that I need to know that I don't know yet. Yet. It's a very small instruction manual because the gameplay isn't that difficult itself. I'm trying to look for a character list here. Here it gives you an example of what they look like when they grow old together and once they reach a certain age they will get married and have kids and then another generation is born and the entire romance cycle kind of starts over again. Aha! Uh -huh, here we go. So here are all the starting characters just like the ones I'd shown you. These are the male characters and these are the female characters. You have a chance of getting these adult characters and these female adult characters. I'm really hoping I would get her um, on my female gotchu and I really want Kuchipachi on my male tamagotchu. That would be so cool but I don't mind anything actually, they're all very very cute. Alright, I need to pick someone. I really don't know who to pick, eh? For the male character, I think I'm gonna go with the robot baby. And for my female character, I will have to choose Ichigochi. Alright, so once I've chosen, just press the middle button here. And here you're asked to give them a name. I'll just do a random character for now. And oh, the UFO comes in and brings the characters onto the screen for you. So in order to connect them, you just push the two Tamagotchis together like that. And the infrared will connect. That is so adorable! Oh, they're kissing. So yeah, that's pretty much all you do to run the Tamagotchus. Like I said, it's a very, very low main Tamagotchi. Every now and then you will unlock different animations when you push them together. Sometimes they'll visit each other. Sometimes they'll be angry at each other. Sometimes they would do different activities. One would play video games and the other would be doing something else. You'll get all these lovely animations that you get to unlock one by one. I'll keep vlogging their growth and just to show you how the entire life cycle works. I look forward to connecting them every now and then. I just want to see what different things they do. Tamagotchi characters don't die. They will leave the screen or I guess leave the relationship if they're not connected enough. So if you're running one of these, make sure you connect them like this every now and then. If you press this third button here, you get to see a close up of both the characters. It's very, very adorable. That's the unboxing part of the video. Keep watching if you want to see how well or how badly they do in the next two weeks or so.
again. So it's been five days since I started running the Tamagotchus, and they are now adult characters. They just transformed this morning. The female character here is called Labu Zukinchi, so Love Zukinchi, and the left one here, the male character, he transformed into Moja Mojachi. He looks a little bit like Santa Claus without his costume. These were not really the characters I was hoping for. I really wanted Kuchi Pachi as my male character, but they're actually really, really adorable now that I've seen it in person. And they're very much in love still, which is great news. That's the objective of the game. I just connect them every two to three hours and that's really all it takes to keep them happy. You don't have to feed them, you don't have to clean their poos, none of that happens on the Tamagotchi. So you just connect them once in a while or press the C button here to see extra animations. Hey guys, so it's been four weeks since I started running the Tamagotchus now and as you can see they've now transformed into the old characters meaning they've grown old now he is now an old man and she is now an old lady I have no idea what she's doing, I think she's exercising? I'm not sure and I'm very happy to have made it this far I did not give up I waited and waited for them to transform and today they finally did which to me is a great achievement I don't usually run a Tamagotchi for this long so this was dedication and one thing I found really interesting about the process was that I read online that it takes the Tamagotchus two weeks to turn old but it took me four weeks. This is definitely important information because three weeks into running these, my Tamagotchus were still in the adult stage. They just didn't transform. But in online it says two weeks, so I was a bit worried. I was like, oh no, are mine faulty or something? But I'm glad I kept running them and waited patiently. And today I hit the four week mark and they finally transformed. If you're running the Tamagotchus and you're failing to get these characters, just Keep waiting patiently, it will happen. If you connect them now, they're still very much in love, which is absolutely adorable. It's very cute. We'll definitely run these again because these are so easy to run. If you have a day job or if you're just a busy person, these are perfect for you because they pretty much don't need to be looked after. All you have to do is connect them once in a while and that's all you need to do. You don't need to feed them, clean their poo, nothing. I believe if I keep running these for a few more days, the old characters are going to leave the screen and the next generation begins. So basically the cycle gets restarted, I do the whole cycle again and I may or may not get new characters. I'm probably going to take a break from these right now because I have been running them for four weeks and a bit. I would love to run something else next. And just before I end this video, I wanted to add an extra hot tip for you all. If you're running the Tamagotchus, make sure you put fresh brand new batteries in as opposed to like old batteries. You want to make sure that the battery will last throughout the four weeks or more um, if you want to run them till this stage right here. A problem me and my friends encountered was if one side had a dead battery and you replaced it with a new one, you can't really continue with the gameplay, which is a little strange because I read online that you could. Correct me if I'm wrong, maybe we did something wrong, but if you had the battery changed on one side and then you try to connect the two of them, they won't really register as lovers anymore. They would just like not talk to each other and the gameplay would just not 
proceed because you need them to be in love to like have the whole relationship blossom and grow and stuff like that. Basically, you just have to restart both Tamagotchis if um, you had a dead battery, which is a shame because it takes like two, three weeks to get them to transform to a certain stage. And then all that wait time is just gone to waste if you have a dead battery you have to start all over again which is very frustrating so yeah a hot tip for you would be to use fresh batteries which is what i did here and i made it all the way to this stage i'm very happy about it all right i'm done talking now thank you so much for watching my video if there's another tamagotchi you would like to see me run feel free to let me know in the comments below i recently also purchased a few non tamagotchi virtual pets which are coming in the mail i'm very excited we'll probably show you guys soon so keep checking my channel for new videos all right, I'm going to go. Bye.